This video is a tutorial on how to macro the new map to earn snowflakes for summoning on a new banner for new units and skins. This is for PC users only since I use TinyTask to macro, and I will also tell the cons of this macro and how to fix that issue. First, equip a Grand Aether Knight that is a decent trait, preferably Almighty, so you don't need to place all five of them and then equip all your good units, also preferably with Almighty's or any other good traits. After that, ready your tiny task then join to your preferred map. I'll start showing how to macro on the first map which is Frozen Peaks Chapter 1 first, then next is Dark Icy Woods Chapter 1. Before we start making a macro, be sure to complete this game because the defeat and victory have a different play again position. Go to the spot where I will be staying at, which in this corner right here. That way, if I ever want to rejoin and macro again, I can just go on the same spot and not make another macro. Then find a marker so that you will have the same screen position every time you macro. I will use the bottom right of my screen as a marker and use this part right here. Now let's make this round a victory first, then we can start making a macro. Now press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, R in order at the same time to record, place Grand Aether Knight first by using keys only. But don't use left mouse button for placing down units. Use the E button instead to place a unit so that while the screen is grayed out, you can still place units, keep that in mind. If you think you did a good job making a macro, be sure to save it first before using it. Then go to Pref setting of the tiny task and apply to X speed and continuous playback. If you're having a hard time following this steps, I will put a download link of my macro. Just copy my screen position and where is my character is. Before playing the macro, be sure to press Shift plus P first so that the game would not be in free cam mode when you start the macro. Then you can start playing the macro by pressing Ctrl, Shift, Alt, P in order at the same time. Now let's see it in action if it was really a good macro recording, if so, you are good to macro. But keep in mind that you have to rejoin every 6 to 7 hours since the grade screen would block the play again button from being able to press. Again, keep in mind that you have to rejoin every 6 to 7 hours since the grade screen would block the play again button from being able to press. As we can see, it turns out working good. I will put this macro record in my description for those who want to use it. Next is Dark Icy Woods, same procedure, but I'll show you the character position and screen position if you want to use my own macro. Go to this spot and copy the marker I used for screen positioning. Be sure to win in this round before starting to record your macro. Now press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, R to record. Then save it before you use it if you think it's a good recording. Keep in mind, press Shift P in order at the same time to be in free cam mode. Then start playing the macro by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt P. Let's see it in action as well if it's good. Looking good to use for macroing. Reminder that I will put the macro recording in my description for you to use. And always rejoin after 6 to 7 hours to fix grade screen. 